Hi, I'm Anne-Marie Paquette with the Mosby Heritage Area Association and I'm coming to you from Wellburn. I'm here outside of Upperville, Virginia. So we're um, in the beginning of June and here in this area, June is always known for the Upperville Colton Horse Show. Uh, so we'd like to discuss a little bit of the history of the show, um, specifically looking at the life of Richard Henry Delaney. So Richard Henry Delaney was born in 1820 in Unison, Virginia, not too far from here, at the family estate of Old Wellburn. Um, but as a young man, he moves here to New Wellburn uh, with his wife, Rebecca Ann. And when he was here uh, by the 1850s, the house looks the same as it does today, complete with this two-story portico. Now, the landscape here in this part of the Piedmont in uh, southern Loudoun and northern Fauquier is rolling hillsides, it's pristine country, um, and in addition to agriculture, the area has been known for horsemanship for generations. And Delaney is actually credited with founding the first pack of hounds here in this area, being the Piedmont Foxhounds, being a group that would bring in folks from around the community instead of just a private pack of hounds. Um, and so the Piedmont Foxhounds founding in 1840 is a landmark, not just here in the Piedmont, but across the United States as well. Um, but that wasn't, of course, his only contribution to horsemanship. Now, as tradition has it, Richard Henry Delaney in the winter, the early, early months of 1853, was out on his grounds and he found he discovered a colt who got stuck in a fence in the you know in a snowdrift it was very very cold outside and as he's freeing this colt he discovers that its hooves were frozen its feet were frozen um, and in really being affected by this scene and thinking about um, the level of horse care the level of horse breeding in the area he decides then and there to start a horse show, to raise the profile of breeding, to raise the profile of horsemanship, horse care in this area. Um, so while many folks were already interested in equestrian sport or in using horses for farm labor, um, the two ends weren't necessarily meeting. And so Delaney saw this as a way to bridge that gap, um, both in education and in practice. Um, and he starts off right away. So it's only a matter of months between him discovering that colt frozen in, in, in the ice, and then the following June when he starts the first horse show near Upperville. And so he, he has a plan. He actually contacts Charles Lewis Tiffany of Tiffany and Company um, to create a silver cup for this. So he's already trying to raise the level um, and making sure that this is official and that it's also popular and interesting and fun. So Charles Lewis Tiffany actually donates not only the cup, but also the labor uh, produced to make the prize for the horse show. Come June, um, the first horse show is held and the club at that time is known as the, the Upperville Union Club, who's going to take on, you know, raising the profile of horsemanship. And they only have two entries, colts and fillies. So again, concentrating on young horses, on the breeding, and on, you know, making sure that there's a good, um, a good resource of horse flesh here in this area, spreading that out. Um, so the first horse show is 1853. Subsequent years it grows. Every year and ever since 1853, the horse show has been held at the same grounds at a place called Grafton Farm near Upperville. Um, it's a beautiful picturesque location, tall, tall oak trees, and it's one of the very few remaining rural horse shows where you actually see horsemanship, the showing, the jumping, the lead lining, all of that happening in the same location where you have the same horses being bred and being trained, you know, and interacting with the riders. Richard Henry Delaney is credited with the beginning of the Upperville Colton Horse Show, um, but of course we know that being founded in 53, the horse show takes a short hiatus during the American Civil War. After the Civil War, the horse show comes back, this time with the name that we recognize, Upperville Colt and Horse Show. Um, and since then, it has developed a huge following. Tens of thousands of individuals come out every June to the Upperville area to see the competition at hand. And again, it involves everything from the local children on the lead line up to Olympic level sport. So it's a really wonderful example of what Richard Henry Delaney 
was trying to do for this area. Um, being able to support the local equestrian business, to support local equestrian bloodstock, but then to raise the profile, and not just to now a statewide level, but to a nationwide level as well. You can also visit the Upperville Colt and Horse Shows website if you want to know more, um, and you can find out more about the Delaney family and some of the other area histories at osbyheritageareaorg Thank you.